Hey everybody, what's going on? I'm Andy, I'm a self-taught software developer, and in today's video, I'm gonna answer the question, how do I know when I'm ready to start applying for jobs when you're going the self-taught route? And man, I get asked this question so much. And you know, as they say, if I had a nickel for every time somebody would ask me that question, I would have a very uh, fat savings accounts. But unfortunately, I don't. And I'd love to answer that question. Now, before I answer that question, let me just address one thing. The, one of the main problems I see out there for everyone who's in this field, and it was a problem I had as well, is that you want to have everything be a nice, neat, black and white, cut and dry answer, right? So you want to know what's the best programming language to learn. You want to know what's the best tutorial to learn in programming language. You want to know when the right time to apply for a job is. And it's nice to think that, that there's just like a clean cut answer, but the fact of the matter is that it's not an exact science. It's really an art. Getting a job, like when you go to actually get a job, that's a complete crazy you know, thing. It's, it's its own thing. The only thing that you can actually do to try and get a job that's proven is just try to increase every chance that you can to get a job, right? So you want to make sure that your social media is on point, that your, your resume is on point, your cover letter, that you're applying to as many jobs. You want to put as many, you know, you want to cast as many nets as possible. Beyond that, you have no control. There's nothing you can do. You can just increase the odds that, that something is going to happen. And so when people are looking for cut and dry answers, what I try to tell them is like, look, there's no 100% correct answer. If you want to know what the best framework to learn is, it really depends on where you live, right? So people say it's either Angular or React. Well, it depends on where you live. Because some framework, you know, West Coast is all React. Where I live, it tends to be more Angular. And it, so like questions like that, it depends, right? So you always want to think of like, what, what can I do to increase my odds in this situation? So when it comes to answering the question, like when do I know if, if I'm ready to start applying, the question I usually ask someone is like, how long have you been coding? Okay, how long have you been actively coding? How long have you been consistently coding? And then I ask them, how long have you been seriously coding? Meaning not fucking around, right? Because there's a lot of people who say they've been coding for a year, but they've been fucking around for a year. Meaning they uh, you know, will really try hard for two weeks and they do take two weeks off because they they get stuck with this application that was really hard. And then they do it again and again and again. And so when I, they say a year, that's different from someone else who's been hammering away hardcore for a year. So if you haven't hit, even hit the six month threshold, I'd say you're probably not ready. Although there are certainly people who have gotten a job within four months. So I'm not going to say that you're not hundred percent ready, but look, six months is, at, is to me, that's like the minimum threshold. If you've been killing it for six months, if you've been literally showing up every day, working your ass off, trying to learn, building applications, really covering the craft, really studying your craft, then it's very possible you could be ready. Um, so for a lot of people who are consistent but not hammering it out, it's probably going to be a lot longer. It's probably going to be anywhere from nine to twelve months. Now these are not hard and fast rules. These are like these are rules of thumb. These are general rules of thumb that I've seen, and there are tons of exceptions. Now I will tell you this: most people who are on their own, so they're self-studying or they don't have a ton of friends who are in the field to mentor them, are typically typically going to wait a lot longer. Uh, usually one and a half to two times longer than they need to to go out and get a job. Now why is this? Well, because people who get into this field are typically overthinkers, right? They're typically too smart for their own good, as I like to say. I'm no exception to this, by the way. I, uh, I was lucky to have a mentor. And by the end of my study, my study year, right, I asked him, you know, how do I know if I'm ready? And he said, let's meet up and I'll walk you through some coding exercises. I'll ask you some coding interview questions. And after we did that, he's like, you're ready. You're hundred percent ready. And I was floored. I was shocked. I remember sitting there going like, dude, are you, are you sure? Are you sure that I'm ready? Like, there's no way. Like, I, I don't know this. I don't know that. I, I feel like I can barely do anything in JavaScript. And he's like, look, you're fine. He's like, just, you know, practice some whiteboarding challenges, some more whiteboarding problems more and shore up your, your interview questions more and just go out there and, and apply and, and continue to do all the things you need to do. And look, I just blindly trusted him. I said, look, he's in the field. He was so confident. The way he said it to me was just so like, he was just so confident about that. I said, I have to just follow what he's saying. If he's wrong, he's wrong. So what? And so I did it and I went out there and I did exactly what he said and I ended up, you know, obviously it ended up working out for me and he was right. He was hundred percent right. Now, if I had applied to Google, I might not have made it because maybe I wasn't prepared for everything that was required to, to be a software developer at Google at that time. But just to get hired as an entry level developer at a small company, 
I had everything it took. And I've, I th look, there's more than just, uh, you know, there's more than my technical capabilities that got me to the job. There's a lot of things that we could cover, you know, like when I showed up, I was talking about my passions, my projects, all that sort of stuff. They liked me as a person. They brought me in as, as a potential talent more than anything else. So keep that in mind. But for most people, you're going to wait a lot longer than you necessarily need to, and that's normal. So if you can, you need to basically put yourself, put yourself out there way before you're ready. Uh, in a lot of cases, it's not gonna be harmful to go out there early, right? Like you don't wanna burn too many bridges, as they say. So, you know, if you're gonna reach out to recruiters, for example, which is uh, unorthodox, but highly recommended style, for at least from my perspective, um, if you go out there and you're really not ready, if those recruiters give you a shot and you go out there and you bomb the interview, guess what? They're not gonna. They're not gonna call you back. They're not gonna give you offers because they recruiters are interested in one thing and one thing only. Unfortunately, but it makes total sense from their perspective, is they're interested in placing you in a job. So if you burn that that uh, you know bridge early on, you're not gonna be able to use that later on. So look, as far as just shooting out your resume to, to random places on Indeed and Monster.com and all the you know the big jobs uh, job board sites. There's no harm in that to me to a certain degree. So if you just want to start doing that slowly and see if you can get a few interviews, try it out and see if you can get any feedback about where your skills are, that's always a good way to do it. So, you know, apply before you're probably ready, but those rules of thumb that I gave are a pretty good indicator. I would say it really depends on how hard you're working. At the end of the day, work your ass off. Like if you're worried about whether you should be applying or not, just work your ass off. Like do the work, put in the work, constantly strive to be better, get mentors, uh, you know, join my free Facebook group, uh, meet with other people who are just as passionate as you. So that way you're, you're in this, like you're immersed in it. So that way, when you step out there and you start applying for jobs, you feel that you deserve this. Whereas if you've been messing around for a long time, of course, you're not going to feel like you deserve it because you haven't really been stepping up to the challenge. So I hope this is helpful guys. I know that I didn't give you a direct answer. There's no, there's no clear cut and dry answer to this. I hope maybe at least you get a little more clarity and understand how you can approach a subject and when you're making this decision to actually go out there and apply for jobs. You guys go ahead and leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Go ahead and subscribe if you want to get content anytime I put out a new video. And also guys, if you want to join my free Facebook group, which I mentioned earlier, go ahead and go to andysterkowitz.com forward slash group. That group is 100% about positivity, high quality content. I nuke any spam and anyone who's being overly negative. So go ahead and join that and join the family. So other than that, thank you so much for watching and peace out. <laughs> Take care guys.